Christian clubs are not welcome at Roy C. Ketchum High School in New York. However, plenty of other clubs are, including an LGBT club. Let's get into it, guys. Welcome to The Conservative Truth. Please like, share, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell, enable notifications to always get new video content. And support me on Patreon, patreon.com slash conservative truth. Link in the description. Sign up, become a $5 or more patron Today, we're going to be bringing exclusive content over there to Patreon very soon. If you guys are blessed by these videos that I do and you'd like to make a monthly donation, I would greatly appreciate it. I also want to thank NIM for upping their patronage from $5 a month to $20 a month. Thank you so much for that. And also to Tony, Jay Pergy, and Peter for all becoming new patrons themselves. Guys, I really appreciate that. Now, getting back to this, like I said, Christian clubs, they're not welcome at Roy C. Ketchum High School. No, for one student, for one freshman there at the high school, Daniela Barca, she is trying, she's been trying since September to start this OMG Christian club. And well, she has been denied by the principal of the school because he said that the club is just too exclusionary and it may offend other students there on campus who are not Christians, who might not feel welcome into the Christian club, like Muslims, for example. And while this is a clear violation of the Equal Access Act, they have on their side, Barca has gotten the help of the First Liberty Institute that has told the school district that you were in clear violation here of the law and not allowing this Christian club to be on your campus. Again, like I said, they have an LGBT pride club there on their campus, and they're proud of that, but there's no problem with that. That can stay. That doesn't offend anybody whatsoever. Oh, wait, yeah, except Christians, the very group of people that you don't care about, the very group of people that you don't want to have their own club. Well, after a letter was sent by First Liberty Institute on Wednesday to the school, they said enough is enough with this, and they want this club, the OMG Christian Club, up and running no later than January 2nd, 2020. And it better not go past that or else this thing could line up in court, and that's not going to be a good thing for the school district. Now, the superintendent did respond and said that they're going to do everything in their power to comply with the Equal Access Act and make sure that the club can be fully up and operational. It just goes to show you once again, guys, that this Christian persecution is going on everywhere. They don't want any mention of Christianity in the schools whatsoever. I mean, and this is a club too, by the way. This isn't like this is just some, you know, some sort of a Christian class. No, this is a club, which is a volun you know, a voluntary club. So again, guys, this is the insanity that we're dealing with now. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I will talk with you soon.